just perfect. He was really awesome to watch at this game because he was, I don't know how else to say it, but he was sexy in the way he could hit these little knockdown shots and these little twirlers. <laughs> Hunting, especially inside of 10 feet. So Stewart, who came so close so many times. When he started making putts, I mean, to me, the sky was the limit for him. When people describe it as a swing, they say it's a silky, smooth motion. And it's no surprise that Peyton was a musician. Me and I did, he and I did music together. Play guitar. He played harmonica. We did our little rock and roll band, Jake Trout and the Flounders, together. But at the very base of this, the common denominator was rhythm. Tempo. The rhythm he had and the tempo he had, it was always the same. I mean, he he could he was a field player. He was a natural player. Payne didn't really earn the kind of respect as a player that maybe he deserved until he won his third major, his, the final major at Pinehurst. Payne Stewart is the 1999 U.S. Open champion. I always felt he prepared better for the majors than any other event he played in. And I always felt he was, I felt he was out preparing me when I played practice rounds with him in the majors. And I, I watched Payne and in his preparation and I just wondered what he was doing differently and why did I have this insecure feeling personally that he was out preparing me. Pinehurst is one of the hardest golf courses you'll ever see. Oh, what a shot. Payne Stewart. He birdied that 17th hole. He pitched out. He laid up on 18 after driving in the rough and he got up and down to win that golf tournament. He earned it. He he earned it. Um, I think it made Payne Stewart a legend. <laughs>